Uh, let me just uh, explain the assignment. Uh, uh, so uh, first, uh, you can see here, uh, can you see the delta? Okay, uh, the, the, the delta refers to the triangular region. Uh, where the, uh, and then um, the triangle is bounded by this line, this horizontal line, uh, which is the mirror axis of the reflection field. And then this uh, line here, uh, which is uh, the mirror axis of the reflection part. And then uh, this hyperbolic line. Uh, which is the mirror axis of the reflection of B. So that uh, your group generated by the reflection speed in R. So P e squared, P e squared, R squared are all of order two no? because uh, they are mirror reflections. And then, uh, so the first question is what are the orders of the following rotations? So uh, what's the order PQ, what's the order QR, and what's the order of PR? So, and of course you can get that from looking at the angles of the, the interior angles of the triangle delta. Number two, uh, mark the mirror axis of the following RQR. Now RQR conjugated by R, okay, because you have, uh, that would be R, Q times R inverse, but R is, uh, for the to the inverse of R is uh, itself, okay, so it is Q conjugated by uh, R, and then, uh, point set of uh, Q conjugated by R, then this will just be R of the fixed point set of uh, Q. So that uh, the axis of the reflection Q, the axis of the reflection R, and the axis of the reflection uh, P. So the fixed point set of Q conjugated by R would just be R of the fixed point set of Q. The fixed point set of Q is uh, this line here. Then you apply R on this fixed point set 
R is a reflection about this line. So, so that when you apply R on the fixed point set of Q, you will get this line over here. And that will be the axis of uh, RQ, R. Okay, uh, step here. So you can uh, easily get that. Then shade the image of the triangle delta under the light reflection PQ bar. So here, the product of the three reflections PQ and R um, is a glide uh, reflection. So all that you do is uh, you're asked for the image of delta under this. So this is delta. First you get you get the image under R. So I go here and then get the image under Q. This one will go somewhere here. And then apply P to get something here. Okay. So it's just uh, <coughs> next uh, shade the image of delta under the hyperbolic translation P times Q conjugated by R P R. <coughs> so here, uh, first you have uh, P, the reflection P. And this is the axis of P. And then you have uh, Q conjugated by R P R. So this is the axis of Q, and then uh, okay. So when you apply R to the axis of Q, you will get this. This will be the axis of R Q R. So what you have is the product of P and Q conjugated by. R Q R. So for this one, uh, P conjugated by R Q R, all that you do is uh, get the image of the axis of Q under R under this. So you just reflect the axis of Q. You will get about this line. I think you will get something like this. So you have the product, therefore, of two mirror reflections. The mirror reflection about uh, this axis and the mirror reflection about the axis of P. So you can see that the two hyperbolic lines are disjoint. And when you have uh, two hyperbolic lines which are disjoint, and you consider the reflections about those two hyperbolic uh, disjoint lines, then their product is a hyperbolic translation. So, yeah, so get the image of delta under the product. So where will this triangle go under this uh, product? Number five, mark the hyperbolic line, which is the common orthogonal to the axis of P and the axis of P. Uh, R conjugated by R Q R. So again, this is the axis of P. This time you consider the <coughs> R conjugated by R Q R. So this will just be R Q R times R times the inverse. R, but uh, this is a reflection, so the inverse will be itself. And R squared is the identity, so you you will just get R Q R U R, or that will be R conjugated by R Q. Okay, uh, number five, so. 
mind the hyperbolic plane, which is the common orthogonal to the axis of P, it's the axis of P, and then you get the axis of this one. Okay, so number five, uh, you have to work that out. Then number six, what is the measure of an interior angle of the equilateral triangle bounded by the axis of Q? It's the axis of Q. The axis of R, QR, which is this, and then the axis of R, Q, R, conjugated by P. So, all that you do is uh, you get the image of this axis under this <coughs> reflection P. The image will be this line here. So what will happen is that uh, you get an equilateral triangle. So this is a uh, hyperbolic equilateral uh, triangle. So I'm just asking what is the measure of an interior angle? Okay. So all of those vertex angles have the same measure. So I'm just asking what's the measure of the angle? And number seven, shade the triangles in the S orbit of delta where S is the cyclic group generated by PR. So here, uh, PR <coughs> is a rotation of the product of uh, the two reflections in R will be a rotation about the intersection point of the axis of P and the axis of R. Okay. So you will get a rotation about uh, this point. And from number one, uh, you will know the order of this. So you will just get a finite uh, cyclic group. Actually, the order will be uh, three. The order will be three. And then just get the image, the S orbit of delta, meaning uh, you apply the elements of S on delta, so you will get I of delta, which will be delta, then PR of uh, delta, so you rotate about that point to get the image of del delta and then we have also the image under the square of uh, PR. Okay. Can we do QR for that? Sila po yung nandun sa mga natin natin natin. Ano yun? Yung nasa? Yung PQR po. Sila po yung nasa assignment po natin natin natin. Dati. O ano lang po? Hindi ko naman maalala. Aling assignment yun?
this uh, horizontal line. Uh, of course, the so that that will be the line where y is equal to zero and so on and so on. And then uh, for this one also, we can solve for this because you know the angle of inclination. Uh, but you don't need that. You, you will just use the tiling. Yeah, the diagram. Exactly. Okay. Exam will be on
Uh, this uh, theorem 
from this article on index two subgroups of hyperbolic plus symmetry uh, groups. So uh, that's in the journal such script for crystallography number uh, volume two, 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 2007, pages 414 and 448. Um, if you are interested, you can just see uh, and copy. So theorem three uh, describes or determines all the index two subgroups of uh, oxygen triangle group H of type star PQR. Uh, what this means is that the uh